It's just a quick shop, said Mum after school as she grabbed a flowery reusable carrier bag and closed the boot. The car next to us beeped and its headlights flashed as its owner approached it. I thought we were going straight home. I've got homework. I squinted in the late afternoon sun as I followed her through the parked cars towards Sainsbury's double doors. I know and I'm so happy you're joining me, she stopped and took the loose hair blowing across my face behind my ear. She was far too cheerful today. Then a thought struck me. Maybe I could make the most of her good mood and ask her to let me go and see 3W with Lisa and Suki. Joe had told Lisa in history that she had a couple of different blocks of tickets and had agreed we were more likely to get our parents to say yes if we went for the cheaper ones. Mum, I said, trying to sound completely normal. Yes, Alia. Wow, she was in a good mood. How come you're so happy today? What do you mean? I'm always happy, she frowned. No, I, I mean more than usual. Good recovery, Ali. Well, your Abu got the promotion he applied for. He's going to be head of science at Judgefield Secondary School. Yay! She grinned, adjusting her beige scarf to cover the tiny strands of silky brown hair slipping across her forehead. Oh, cool! He'd been asking us to pray to get the position since he first went for an interview months ago. I just want to pick up some cake ingredients, that's all. You can help me make it if you want. Uh, I've got work to do, Mum. But I'll help you eat it. I grinned back at her. Yeah, <laughs> bet you will, she smiled, picking up a basket as we stepped through the automatic sliding doors. So, I said, glancing at her and hesitating before I went on. You know, to celebrate Dad's promotion, I dodged an elderly woman trying to keep control of her overflowing trolley. Yes. Could I go and see 3W with Suki and Lisa?